Hello everyone, welcome back to my studio. My name is B Nix, if you don't know who I am. Basically what I do here on my channel is I do everything music, you know, whether it be tutorials, beats, whatever, or we just talk shit, you know what I'm saying? That's what we do here. So today what I'm gonna do is a tutorial for my MPC users. Like I said in one of my previous videos that I will let you know how to bring the native instruments expansion sounds into the MPC so then you can start using them and start making them dope beats you hear me so anyways without further ado let's get to it okay now as you can see i have the mpc software open this is windows it's not mac so i have it open on my windows machine so there's two ways that we could do this the first way is to go to your file browser on the mpc and then you want to go click this little arrow here and it'll give you this list of your expansions and everything. And then you want to go to where it says hard drive. At least on my computer, my native instruments expansions is in user, it's in public, it's in documents. You might have a different directory, but this is where mine is. If you know where yours is, then you can navigate to that. We're going to go to Burrow Chops. This is the one I want to try out. Samples, uh, let's get a little loop construction. Let's open this kit and we can drag one of these on here. Boom, 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 ah, ah, boom, boom. Say that comes, he say, 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 ha. Ah. Tell me that ain't dope. Ooh, I uh, spooky. Uh. Huh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It's something about those old school boom bap beats that just get me. But anyways, that's one way you could do it. Now, the next way is, this is a good way if you want to put it on your MPC live or anything like that. Uh, but you can also just, and it also makes it easier if you do it on your hard drive to make it easier to access so you don't have to go through so many steps. But you can go on your C drive on your computer. This is my computer. Uh, we're gonna go to C here, same path, users, public. Then we go to public documents and let's go down to Burrow Chops, samples. I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this whole thing. Copy. And then we're gonna go here, back, here, program data, Akai, MPC. And then we're gonna go to content. Already have burrow chops here um, and I already copied it. So boom, I could just now show you, right? But if you have your MPC connected to your computer and you have a hard drive in it, this is mine. As you can tell, it says MPC. You can take that and I would copy it into my samples and then that way it'll be available on the standalone version. And then you can use the samples in there. But on the program. Now that we've done that, we can go to file browser. Oops, sorry. Go back to file browser. Let's go back to here. Unfortunately, we're going to have to navigate back here, but normally when you open MPC, it would be um, in the program data directory already, right? So we're going to go ahead and go to that folder I don't see it you know what let's get one of these babies cool now we're there oh. now all we need to do is go to one up and then here so if you didn't see what I did is I selected one of these expansions, which takes you into that folder. And then I hit this arrow, it goes one folder up. And then you can see your burrow chops here. Double click it, let's do the loop, construction, boom, boom. And then we have the same beats here, right? Let's just overwrite that one. Grab that. Uh, uh. 
So I'm pretty sure you get the idea here, and that is how you do it. Now you have access to all of these wave effects, cracks, whatever this is. You can put everything and then do beats inside NPC using native instrument sounds. And that's pretty much it. You know, very simple, very straightforward. This is not a long tutorial, so that's it. All right, that will complete the tutorial. It's a very short tutorial, something very simple to do to get the native instruments, instruments into your MPC, so that now you can start making the dope beats in the MPC using native instrument sounds. In my opinion, native instrument sounds are a lot cleaner um, than the ones that you get from MPC, but I guess that's what it's all about, right? The dirtier sounds give you like this more muffly type of bassy type sound, so when you hear it, it sounds a little bit different. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you want me to do more tutorials like this, let me know, you know, say leave something in the comments. Um, let me know if you know another way that this can happen. I would gladly uh, want to learn something, you know, new. I'm not a, a guru on this stuff, so I'm always open to learn. Um, but I'm just sharing with you what I've discovered myself, and hopefully this is helpful. But anyways, if you haven't liked and subscribed, please do so. It really will help me out. Um, if you don't really want to, then, you know, do what you want. You know, it is what it is. Anyways, my name is B. Nix. This is my studio, and I'm out.